Okay, welcome to Gemstone Tarot, Friday the 25th of March, 2022. Third time recording. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with technology. There must be something in the ether slash astrology, whatever. Okay, so we're gonna do a couple of facts from this book because it's been sparking some really good comments from you about epigenetics, which combined with the reading that we did on that day was a little bit, you know, it was a big hmm for me. I've downloaded an article um, from Harvard University to have a look at it. I'm not going to do it too quickly because if I do it too quickly, it's a bit like maths face will happen. Um, but in bits, I'm looking at it. So thank you for all your comments as well about your own families. Um, I, I try and read everything and it was fascinating. Really good. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. It's all about the human body and human behaviour, these ones. Men tend to suffer the most when having a breakup. There you are, guys. Weigh in and let me know if this is true. In a study that involved 5,705 participants from 96 countries, so not bad, it was found that while women experience intense pain immediately after the breakup, they get over it quickly, or they can get over it quickly. On the contrary, men move on quickly, but remain damaged for longer. You know, just on kind of, uh, what do they call it when you're not doing scientific research, but well, I suppose experience, um, I'd say that might be true. I'd say that might be true. A gut feeling can actually be interpreted as a chemical signal that your stomach creates to warn your brain of danger. People who are afraid to sleep or fall asleep have a disorder called somnophobia. Somnophobia is closely linked to fear of the unknown because such people are mostly afraid of what sh would happen should they fall asleep. Totally understandable, really. I mean, it's, it's a weird thing to do, isn't it? To fall unconscious every night is a weird thing to do if you look at it on paper as a human, especially when you come from you know, when you lived in a cave and there was a lion or whatever, not a great idea. Mm -mm -mm. Based on a study by Andreas Keller at Rockefeller University, the average person can tell the difference between 1.7 trillion different smells with a combination of 30 ingredients. Oh my God. Human eyeballs are always the same size from the moment of birth, but our nose and ears never stop growing. I always think that's a bit of a cruel trick, actually, by whatever. Okay, we are going to do a bit of cheese board and a bit of rider weight. I know, because I feel like there may be two camps, like the cheese board and the kind of more straightforward tarot. So let's Let's chase it down with both. This was an idea I had while making my decaffeinated coffee this morning. I know, I'm very excited to have my decaffeinated coffee. This is my favorite mug or one of them. I don't know if I've shown you this. I love this mug. It's one that I got from someone's studio. Love me a studio mug. Okay. Val and Leia are out on my neighbour's roof. Ginger Nuts was holding Val hostage and not letting her go through the cat flap, so I dealt with that. It's so cute, actually, because she's a bit scared of Ginger Nuts. And if I just go outside and start putting some washing out, because I'm standing there, suddenly she makes herself big and she's like, brrr, brrr. this massive guttural growl comes out of her. And it's because I'm standing there, so. Yeah, dealt with that first, and then they both found neighbours' roofs to lie on in the sun, which is really nice. Okay, that one. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, they go together. One more. Ooh. Sometimes a bit difficult to keep on my lap. Ooh. Good. Ooh, okay. Good visually, so let's look at them. Let's biddly bop. 
if we can. Who knows? Because with the equipment being such as it is, I don't really like rely on anything. Okay, not bad. Let's actually look at the cards. <laughs> there we are. Now then, just brightening up my computer screen so I can see them properly on the computer as well. Right. These two kind of go together like a pair. We've got the creator. So let's have a better look at this one. Isn't that gorgeous? And I'm taking this in two ways. I'm taking this like locally as us and you, us and you, me and you, <laughs> us, whatever. It's going to be one of those funny word days again today. Um, being the creator locally, as in you may feel the urge to create something, a necklace, an artwork, a cake, some seeds, I don't know. Whatever it is, different for everyone. A studio mug. And also the mystic. These two things go together really well because generally in a project or in life, when you do something, and I don't know if this is going to be true or not, when you do something, you feel like you're creating it ex nihilo, as they used to say, out of nothing. But you never are. You're kind of creating it. If we're looking at epigenetics, nothing comes out of nothing. Energy can never be created or destroyed. So it's coming out of experiences, DNA, nature, nurture, that weird place that we can never quite put our finger on, which is this bit, the mystic. And that's what makes something out, come, come out of the inside of you and be offered to others as a poem as a song or as whatever it is and there we have the offering now the other thing that i'm getting from this and it's a bit weird and i don't quite understand it so when i was younger maybe oh, i don't know 10 or 11 i kind of had a guru or a teacher and was definitely a guru and a teacher. I didn't know the word guru then, but it was a guru. And I rem we had some interesting conversations, obviously, and it was that kind of when you're at an age or an understanding where you're like a sponge, but you're not going to get it until a few years later, but the guru knows to plant those seeds so that a few years later you'll go, ha ha, okay. So I remember this person saying to me, something about there was the world is not the world is a perfect place was one which i understood but it was on the tip of my understanding and now i sort of do and secondly that there is no distance between us and the gods because we are the gods and the gods are in us so i'm kind of getting here the creator as in whatever source god angel, whatever it is that is your uh, higher power, and you as the creator as well, simultaneously. It's kind of at the same time using this triangle, I suppose, to create the offering. But what you're offering to is also yourself, because you are the God too. That's what I get. Brilliant, let's have some tarot. I'm excited. Cool. <laughs> okay, so let's just put these on top. They don't correspond to any particular card. And I'm not, I'm going to do the reversals, but I'm not too bothered about it, okay? So we have flanked by the sun in reverse and the eight of wands in reverse. We have the magician in the middle. What I'm getting for this when you get the sun in reverse is that it's not absolutely clear what you're doing straight away. It's not transparent, okay? And the Eight of Wands in reverse is about communication, but it's about not saying anything, not literally saying it in words straight away. These two things, it's like a nothingness and a silence. And then you have the magician in the middle. 
who is bringing something down or up, depending on which way you see it. We have as above, so below, as below, so above. We are the gods, there is the god, as above, so below. And bringing something to fruition without words, really. And that doesn't mean like if you're writing a book or a poem that you're not going to use any words, but it does mean that the words aren't exactly the point. It's that part, the mystic, the thing, the light, the, the thing we can never put our finger on. And if we did put our finger on it, it would probably disappear anyway. Let's have an oracle card. I'm fascinated by all of this stuff at the moment. Let me know in the comments section what you think. So if we look at it in terms of every day and we were gonna do a roundup, this is a good day for a creative project. This is a good day for a philosophical conversation. This is a good day for research, for looking something up or for going deeper on something that previously you were curious about, such as the epigenetics or whatever it is. See, I've just put it down on the table thinking the camera's there and it isn't. <laughs> oh, we get exchanging gifts. We have not had this for a while. Reciprocity. So this may be something where you create something that sparks someone else or they create something that sparks you. Nothing comes out of nothing. Energy can't be created or destroyed. Oh, that was nice. I'm gonna finish the rest of my decaffeinated coffee. Do like, share and subscribe and I'll see you tomorrow. Namaste.